right, good morning. It is Wednesday morning, it is day nine of the kettlebell swings. Me doing my 30, 30, 30 protocol, 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking up with 30 minutes of steady state cardio. I'm gonna put a video up here. This is where everybody makes the biggest mistake in trying to lose weight. So weight gain works like this. You see, once we understand the physiological rules of how the body burns energy, we can strip fat off our body. Because I assume when you say weight gain, you mean fat, right? So when most people say I wanna lose weight, they really mean I wanna lose fat. So here is how your body burns energy. By the way, there are no exceptions to this rule. I see so much bro science on the internet trying to conflict with the laws of physiology, but here's how it works, okay? Number one, number two, Number three, here's how your body burns energy. If you have sugar in your blood, which is glucose, your body will always go to that energy source first. In fact, when sugar rises in your blood, your body secretes something called insulin. Most people think the primary role of insulin is to lower blood sugar, that's not true. The primary role of insulin is to block any other form of energy utilization in the body. If insulin is high, you cannot burn fat physiologically impossible to burn fat in a high sugar environment. So sugar will burn out of your body first. The next source of energy is something called glycogen. That's stored sugar, stored in your liver, stored in your muscles. You have a 20 minute reserve of glycogen in your body, 20 minutes. And then your body can get energy from lean muscle or it can get energy from fat. 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking followed by 30 minutes of steady state cardiovascular exercise. Steady state cardio is where your heart rate is at or below 135 beats a minute. You should be able to talk on the phone, read a Kindle. You are not panting, right? As soon as you go hammer down, your body switches sources. It will switch to lean muscle, right? So, unless you have amino acids in your bloodstream. You burn fat at rest. You do not burn fat during exercise. You burn fat at rest. And that explains why that I'm doing this 30-30-30. Burning fat is, according to uh, Mike Ferris, or Tim Ferris, and all these other scientists, this is how you do it. You do 30 minutes of cardio within 30 minutes of waking up with 30 grams of protein in your system. I'm just trying to see if it works. Let's go. one with uh, as much form and force with my hips 
really throwing that kettlebell up, really letting it drop, and then really throwing it back up again. That's it, simple as that. 200 kettlebell swings in 30 minutes. I got a sweat going, I'm not like drenched in sweat, but I do have a nice sweat going. I feel alive, I feel awake, I feel active. I like this little program. My heart rate isn't raced up too top, too high. That's not what my goal is here. My goal isn't to do that top end uh, high cardio. I want that middle cardio here where you're burning fat, not where you're burning muscle. I've already burned up all the, all the sugar, all the glucose, and all the glycogen in my muscles. So now, hopefully, I should be running on the protein that's in my body, and then I will switch over later in the day to burn in fat. That's, that's what the goal is. That's what I'm hoping to accomplish here. Uh, I put a video up earlier. That's the video that actually really sparked my interest. Um, and then I went and I bought Tim Ferriss' book. Two, one. Workout. Workout I went and bought Tim Ferriss' book, Four Hour Body. I'm halfway through it. I'm still reading, uh, going back and reading chapters, especially the, the weight loss chapter, the, the slow carb, fat loss uh, chapters. I don't want to sacrifice any muscle. I still want to gain muscle, but I want to lose the fat. Um, I am still alcohol free all this month. Um, I have not had a drop of alcohol all month. Uh, not super hard, but still there's occasions where I've wanted to have a beer or uh, some rum or something, but I have resisted the whole time. I'm still doing the slow carb diet, still eating eggs and lentils, beans, and a whole lot of spinach. Um, still coming out and doing this every day. I'm not doing the X3 today. What I'm gonna do to finish off workout, uh, my workout right now is I'm going to get the partner to that 44 pound kettlebell and I'm gonna go take a trip around the neighborhood just to finish the workout off. Just a nice holding the kettlebell farmer's walk. Uh, I don't know how far I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna go around the block and then come back home and then that'll be the end of the workout. So that's it for day nine of kettlebell swings. Uh, when I hit day 15, I'm gonna switch over. I'm gonna go to the 53 pound kettlebell and then finish those last 15 days with that one. That's my goal on this is to see how much weight I can lose. And not so much weight, I know I'm still gaining muscle as I'm working out. I wanna lose this. And I did measure this uh, at the beginning, belly button all the way around, and it was 41 and a half inches. And I hope to have that down considerably by the time I finish doing all of this, uh, this 30 day challenge. This is my challenge, this is for me. If you get some benefit out of this, great. If you give me a thumbs up, that's fantastic. If you subscribe, thank you very much. If you ran across this and you're kind of, what's going on? Yeah, that's it. I challenge myself here because I don't have workout partners. <laughs> I challenge myself here to do these workouts and then I got to do them because I'm putting them out there to, for the world to see. And if you're showing up and you're following, that's great. Um, so that's why I'm doing it. Challenging myself for the 30 day programs. And I also do the X3 workouts. And I've been doing that ever since I bought that system. And it's improved my life. It's improved my men mental health. It's improved my physical ability, everything. And I will be 58 here really soon. So that said, I am going to go grab the partner to this one. And I'm gonna go take a trip around the neighborhood and then be done with my workout. Get it done, go live your life. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 10 of Kettlebell Sleep.